Hello again, uh, it's Steve here. Um, this is uh, part two of the uh, Miele C3 Complete or S8 reassembly video. Now in the first video I showed how to uh, strip it down. Uh, basically I got up to the, uh, this point here in the reassembly so I'm going to be taken on from that point. So we've got our uh, white case back on, on the top. Um, we've got as far as getting one screw back in here basically. So the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the things we need to do now is to put the remaining screws in and there are another one, two, three, four, five plus this one here to do up. So I'm going to start with this one here. Okie dokie. Then we go to the one on the other side, which goes in there. Like so. We've got one just under where the filter cover sits. I'll just show you that. That's there. People sometimes forget that one under the filter, that's why you always have to take the filter off. Right. So let's put that one back in. Okay. Then we've got the two in the front that need to go back in. One. And we want another one here on the other side. So, and there's one more, where was that one more that we need to put in? There's one more, yes there it is there, just here. So we've got the deep one there and we've got one more just to go here. that is all the screws back in. So at that point now we can just make sure that our trim is pushed back underneath the white plastic all the way around. Okie dokie. And just leave the trim slightly open like so. Right now what we're going to do is we're going to put the uh, buttons back on. The on and off switch which is that one and the comfort rewind which is that one. So that's basically a case of pushing them in until the little clips engage. So we're going to take the comfort rewind first and we're going to stick that on top of this spring here. We've got two little springs there that spring the buttons back. So we're going to make sure our switch is just over that spring and push it down. Pull the, pull the cable out, making sure the switch works. So it's very easy just to push that down. Same again with the on and off switch. Position it where you want it to go and click it in. And there's our on and off switch. Now we can test it at this point if we need to just to make sure that's working. Which it is. Noisy aren't they without the tops on and the filters. Good grief. Right, let's uh, take that out and then we'll check Comfort Rewind's working again. Yes it is. So now we can put our trim back on and that's just a case of simply clicking it back into place. It's a little tiny bit fiddly so you've got to sort of bend it to get it to go underneath. Like so, and then the other side. Take your time with it, don't rush and don't uh, force things. If it won't go straight away, do it a bit more gently and it'll go. So 
So what you're trying to do, you're trying to get that clip and that clip into these holes here. You can see the holes in the case for it underneath. One in, two in, three in. Push it down slightly so it goes underneath here. And if it doesn't want to go straight away, get your screwdriver. Because it normally will go in the end. There we go. And that's gone in. Okay. And now we can see that's exactly how it should look. If that side is still out slightly, just press it down and it will click in. Same goes for that side, that's already clipped down. So you want to have no gaps here, no gaps here, and no gaps around the side. If there's gaps, you need to press it down until it clicks in. Just like I've done there. Right, so at this point now, we can fit our filter back in. Uh, where are we? It's here. This is our Mila, Mila Hepa Clean. Uh, sorry, Air Clean 50. There we go. Now that one's reasonably okay. It's reasonably clean. There was one of those time strips on there originally. Now I pulled that off because this machine, I've nowhere near used this for 50 hours yet. It's well over a year old. And obviously, once it's a year old, that time strip has gone all the way across and is telling you to change this. But unless you've done 50 hours cleaning with it, there's no point changing it. So I'm not changing this yet because these are about 20 quid to buy. Okay? Or you can buy another type of filter grill from Mailer that you can use the standard um, filters that come with the packets of bags. When you buy a box of four high clean bags, or air clean as they are in the US, they will come with an exhaust filter which you'll put in here. But if your machine was originally supplied with one of these filters, which is the HEPA filter, the Air Clean 50, then you can't fit the filter that comes with the bags. You need to go to Miele and you need to buy a filter grill that fits in here. And that filter grill has got a lid on. You open the lid and you put your filter inside. So unfortunately, if you've got one of those, it's going to cost you money to be able to use the other type as well. The, the last time I saw those grills, um, they were about £10 around that region. I don't know what they are now, I don't know what made the charge from now, but they're not dear. And it means that you won't have to buy these again, because these are 20 quid a throw, at least. Well, they are in the England anyway, in the United Kingdom. So, we'll put that in, and press it down. Normally what happens, when these are clogged up, it will try and force the lid up when the machine's in use. When you've got the power turned up, especially with the S6 model, that's really pronounced on the S6, the way it forces this up if it's blocked, like so. And it tries to force the lid up as well. So it's best to check it on a regular basis. I mean, that's okay at the moment. But 50 hours use. I mean, if you're using it for an hour a week, that gives you about a year, doesn't it? But I don't use this for an hour a week, so I've got a lot of cleaners out there, so I use different ones. This I use for above floor cleaning, for doing dusting and things, and doing the stairs doing the sofa with the turbo brush, so it doesn't get an hour's use a week. So let's say I could get three years out of this. So I will carry on using that for a little while longer yet, because to me, that is fine. Now behind here, behind there, that door, that's what we call the pre-motor filter. That's been in ever since I've had the cleaner. I've never changed that. There's hardly any dirt on it. And the reason there's hardly any dirt on it it's because I've always used the GM type of bag, the proper Miele bag. And that bag allows very, 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 very little dirt to come through it. So you'll find that after all this time, the inside of the bag compartment is pretty much spotless in there. And that's because those bags do a damn good job of filtering out all the impurities. And it gets caught between the nine layers of that bag. There are nine layers to those bags. It goes to the first, it goes to the second, there's a third, fourth, fifth. You cut one in half and you separate them and you can see all the little layers. It, each layer traps more dirt so they don't get clogged very easily. So when your bag is nearly full or pretty much full, you've still got masses of suction through it. Bags are not now what they were when James Dyson first brought the DCO one out when he said about bags losing suction. Miele bags very rarely do. Bag technology's come along a long way in the last 20, how many, how many years since Dyson brought that out? 24 years ago. Yes, bag technology was quite bad back then. They used single layer paper bags with one layer. 
and once the pores got clogged with fine dirt, that's, that would restrict the suction. Yeah, it would. But we know we've got so many layers in a bag, in these bags here. If you were to cut one of those across there and look at all the layers in there and say you'd, that was fantastic because these cost about, you can get these for about eight pounds for four from Argos or 8.99. Get them from the Mila website, I believe it's 15 pounds for two boxes of eight. So they're not really that expensive. When you consider what they have to do and the amount of dirt they have to separate and how they keep your cleaner so spotless inside, then you go and use a pattern part bag which is cheaper than these and you see how dirty your cleaner gets in there. These filters won't keep that dirt from going to the motor. These are, these are to stop if there's a bag burst, the big particles from going and getting trapped in the fan. Right? It's all that's there for. It's a safety filter in case the bag ever does burst. It's not a filter filter as such. Because all you'll do, it'll draw the dirt in through here, it'll go through the motor, through the fan, it'll wreck all the bearings in the motor, it'll wreck the windings, and it'll also clog all this filter up here. And you'll see all the dirt on the back of there and in here, it's gone through the motor. Right, so that's a quick word about bags. I mean, I can't stress enough how important it is. If you're going to buy one of these, look after it. It's a mealer. If you can't afford to buy these bags, don't buy one of these. Go out and buy Vax. You know, 50, 60 quid Vax. And when it's blocked up, people throw them away. These are quite expensive now, these cleaners are. They're at least 250 quid. The cheapest ones are just over 200 pound now. They were cheaper than this a little while ago, but everything seems to have gone up. So if you're going to buy one, get the, get the right bags for it. Right, so that's the little lesson over there, so we'll put that bag back in. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to put the lid back on. So in order to put the lid back on, let me just see if the camera's uh, pointing correctly. Yes, it is. So all we need to do with this is basically get those hinges back into those holes. So put it vertically so that the hinges just are going, starting to go into the holes. And then do that, basically. Lower it down. Okay? So once again, I'll just show you how to take it off again. It's very, very simple. You get your screwdriver into the bottom of that hinge and lever up. Same in this side and lever up and it comes off. All you are trying to do is just push one, two, there's two clamps there, two little clips and the idea is you're going to get your screwdriver under those, turn it round and push that clip up and then you can bring your lid off. It's very very easy. And once again I'm going to put it on again now. Into the holes. And there we go. It really is as easy as that. We can give it one more test. Okay, just wind it out. I'll get the, uh, the hose. And we'll put the hose in. wind the cable out and we'll put it down on the floor. So, I'm just hose our mats off. I've made a mess down there. That's 
all working as well. Superb. Now we'll just try the uh, Comfort Rewind. We'll get the two screwdrivers out of the way and we'll see if this shoots all the way in on its own. There's the plug, I'll just hold hold of that. Come on. Stuck on the washing machine. There we go. Never fails me. Fantastic machine. Tell you what, the S8 is my favourite canister of all time. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it to pieces, I do. You can't really get a better canister at the moment than the Mila C3 Complete or the S8. I mean, the S8 name is getting a little bit long in the tooth now because the S8 name hasn't been used now since 2014. So obviously older stocks got sold later on, but now it is solely really the C3 Complete. And you know, you get your various versions of it with different control panels on, some of them come with power heads on, some of them don't, some come with turbo brushes. Some of them are 700 watts, some of them are 1600, but I believe the law states now that they've all got to be 700 to 900 watts, these have. So whether me and are going to change the motors in them, I don't know, but essentially that is your C3 complete. Now I've done another video on um, stripping down the elect sorry, the turbo brush that come with some of these. So if you've got the C3 complete cat and dog model, you'll have like a turbo brush on the end and I've done another video that uh, says how to strip the turbo brush down, how to clean that out. But as for this video, I'll say goodbye until next time. I hope to bring you a stripped down video of the Miele S5 next. See you next time.